Well, we're closing out on 2021. And given the the fun that I had during 2021, I figured I would do a year in review to recap, highlighting some of the personal achievements, some of the good things that happened in an otherwise unusual year. I think we could all agree that 2021 was better than 2020, but it was still a year that was different. So in this next little bit, I'm just going to share some of the fun highlights that I had, and more importantly, some of the areas that I really enjoyed and really learned a great deal about, mostly on two wheels. Enjoy. So the year started out really, really wet, and it was a constant battle of mud and getting mud out of all the nooks and crannies in in my enduro. So there was a lot of time when the, my bike was on a bike stand getting washed. I think it spent more time in soap those first few months than on dirt. One of the big things that happened this year was some upgrades. So on my enduro, I upgraded the fork to the RockShox Zeb Ultimate Game Changer. I changed out the drivetrain from the NX to a SRAM GX, so a 10 to 52 cassette. Again, game changer, even on an e-bike. The, one of the best things was my uh, PNW Loam dropper post. It's absolutely incredible. The feeling on it, the response is perfect. And then, of course, <laughs> constantly trying to find parts, trying to find rubber. So, ended up going through a bunch of Maxxis tires this year. And right now, my fat bike, the Brody Big Shot, is getting a whole new makeover. Brand new drivetrain, 12-speed, new chain stays, ride wrap. It's, it's going to be fantastic. One of the biggest things, though, that happened this year was being able to say I'm a sponsored rider specifically for Brody. Um, I love this company. It is fantastic. They make such good product. And there's, they're just bikers. They, they want to make a product that you can use and enjoy. I'm more than happy to promote this. It's absolutely fantastic. And the, the other one, uh, it's going to show up here in a second, is, is Metal Galaxy. Now, I've been going to Metal Galaxy for... Oh, a long time, be it to play games or just hang out with friends. The owner, Pascal, is one of my most dearest friends. We did a lot of cool rides over this year. Um, this is 12 Mile Cooley on the uh, Brody Big Shot. This was from Beaumont, and uh, Beaumont was really cool because we got to I got to show you Sideshow Bob, the uh, iconic trail there. Did Dutch Creek in BC, which was the uh, rather precarious cliffside trail that um, has actually a lot of views on YouTube now. Did Fish Creek. Um, that is a great stretch of trail here in Calgary. And um, then we did Pascapoo, which is one of my favorite treks, mainly because it's close to home, but... Uh, it, it provides a lot of excitement. Then when it was warmer, uh, we explored Moose Mountain. Uh, specifically, one of my favorite, uh, two favorite trails there. It's called Numa, which is a uh, black diamond. And then um, 727, which is a, a bit of a flow trail that's actually uh, really nice. Um, there's lots of little jumps, like right there. You can see me with my tongue sticking out like I usually am when I'm riding. Um, great bunch of trails. Had some professional pictures done this year for uh, for the bikes. Uh, thank you, Mila. It was uh, quite the experience. Now, one of my favorite things this year was the Moose Duro. I actually won it for my uh, for my class, uh, men's e-bike short class. It it's just so cool to ride in an official enduro race you you get so much out of it the course being roped off you have fans cheering well minimal fans but you had fans cheering it was just fun to be in a race environment 
And this year, too, I've locked up a lot of accomplishments. You look at those KOMs. So overall, I think it was just a fantastic year. And uh, let's see what 2021, actually 2022, sorry, is going to bring.